Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you the basics of basically drawing a head from different angles and how the proportions of the facial features change. So in the previous video um, where I talked about facial proportions, this is just one method as well. There's lots of different methods of doing this. But let's say we say the eyes are halfway down the head, the nose halfway between the eyes and the chin, and then the mouth um, halfway between the nose and the chin, and usually adding on a little bit of extra space for the chin. That's what we're looking at pretty much face on, that first drawing that I've done there. And then when we want to choose maybe a, a, an image of, draw an image of a person where they are looking up uh, at an angle, tilt the head on the axis wherever that is, and then you need to draw in as usual where you would have your proportions, but then we are adding on these curved lines to go with the tilt of the head. Imagine it's kind of like a sphere, kind of like an egg shape that's that's tilting around. So if they're looking slightly up and slightly to the right, then that is the centre of the face. And of course, we also have to move the eyes along. So this actually is a little bit more complex. You're moving the eyes across as well. And that, so that's where the nose is. And of course, the nose is going to look a lot different um, at a different angle. And then this is the bottom of the lips. And of course, you would also be looking slightly underneath the chin as well. So the chin would, um, you know, the, the face would be a little bit more squished in. And I'm not going to go into details on sort of how to draw all of those facial features in at those angles. I might do another video on that. But this is just essentially to show you roughly how those proportions can change. And of course, the ear then becomes below the eyes. So even though usually we say the eyes line up the ears, sometimes the eyebrows, everyone's slightly different and has slightly different proportions anyway. These are just very general rules. Um, so for this one, I'm just going to do uh, just someone simply looking down. So we draw all the proportions out like normal, and then we just draw this curved line down from each of those points. So now we know the eyes will actually be there. And I haven't changed the angle of the head as in to the left or the right. Um, so I haven't changed the horizontal angle, just the vertical angle, we're looking down. And you'll start to see how these features um, look. And this, the ears go now higher up because the eyes are looking down. The ears haven't changed too much. In fact, they're actually in the exact same place because we're just looking down. That is the bit that will change. And of course, the hairline is also going to go down. So we're going to see more of the top of the head. So it's going to seem like the hairline is very low down, but it's not. It's just the angle of the face. If you look completely straight down, you will just see the top of your head. So it's kind of that sort of idea that we're going for. And it almost, the chin almost becomes invisible. You can't really see it. You might, in fact, if someone's looking down a lot, you might just see the top lip and you might not see anything below that. Um, so for this, we're gonna look at someone looking up at an angle, but for a profile, a side profile. So we're not gonna be um, adding in like the image above where we've got that extra angle going on. So we tilt the axis of the face and that is actually gonna be the profile of the face. So really nothing's actually changing. I'm not actually gonna draw any other lines there. I'm just, and I'm just gonna sketch this in just roughly to show you that's kind of where the eye dips in um, and the brow line, the nose and then the kind of muzzle area of the mouth. Um, the chin obviously needs to stick out. We've got that rough egg shape, but that doesn't really represent the side of someone's face. So um, definitely watch some other videos on that, to how to do that. I might do one soon. And I'm also just drawing that line in about where the ear goes. It's kind of uh, in the middle of the head really, but we're just still following those, just following on from those lines from before. I'm just giving the lips a, a little bit of definition and roughly where the, neck would be and of course this is just you know this egg shape is very very rough and the head does come out a little a lot more which I'll show you now so the hairline's still in that same um roughly a quarter a little bit higher than a quarter I would say off the face um I see I'm just sketching really you have to imagine that this the back of the skull is going to come out a lot more plus hair so that original egg shape does expand a lot more it's just that again, that very basic beginning and then roughly where the eyebrow would be. 
and these are all rough, very rough anyway, because of of the various proportions of many different faces. Um, and then here I'm going to show you just simply looking upwards. So again, we start with that original, very much like the the, the original drawing that I started there at the top. And then I'm going to really, really angle it a lot. So I want someone to, to look as if they're really looking up a lot. So that is going to depend on how you change that curve. And I'm even adding a little bit on there for the chin there. I just want to keep that curve and that direction for the chin. So again, eyes still in the same place as I have done on the top image. That nose is going to be um, a very different, different shape to how you'd usually draw it. I'm just kind of sketching in the lips there just to give you an idea. Of course, you might, it depends how much the person was looking up, you may not even see um, the lips. You might see the bottom lip, depends on someone's face. Just a suggestion of where the ears are and a suggestion of where um, the hairline and hair might be, depending on hairstyle. And then this bit of shadow here is just to illustrate that chin. So where I did that sort of curved line, that is where that chin is going to be. So we're actually going to, that chin is going to cut into the original face shape that we did because someone is looking up. It takes a lot of practice, but I hope you find this helpful.